Hey, Classified Survival here. Today we're going to be talking about communication. Uh, this is a vital aspect in any long-term survival scenario. Um, communication between your home, between your home and a shop perhaps, or garage. Uh, communication between neighbors. Uh, if you and your neighbors have a, uh, a contingency plan set up for uh, long-term survival, uh, you're going to need uh, secure communication between your houses or, or with your whole neighborhood and um, there's endless possibilities of how this can be used and in front of you I got a few options for uh, for some secure communication here these are uh, actually some field phones you got a an Ericsson these are uh, Swedish I believe Ericsson army field phones and then uh, a lot of you uh, veterans may recognize this this is the E8B uh, army field phone from uh, World War II Korean era I believe I may be wrong. I know just enough about these to get me in trouble. And uh, I'm going to go through, uh, you know, how to set these up, how they work, and then how you can stay in communication with your neighbors and, uh, you know, family and friends. If there's a, ever a situation where you're not going to be able to leave your house, either nuclear, biological, or chemical, uh, this these are going to be uh, lifesavers for you. So you got your phone. Uh, it's probably going to come hopefully assembled. You don't want to see a lot of damage on the outside just like anything. Uh, pop it open. It should just be a couple of tabs that are going to hold it open. And also your straps are going to hold your lid on. They can easily be removed by pulling these two tabs out there just like that. That'll, uh, that'll make the uh, inside of the phone a little more accessible. They'll generally come with a crank handle. Uh, some of them will already have it attached in a recessed port on the side, but this one comes comes separate. So what we want to do is we want to find the uh, the hole for the crank handle there and just screw it on clockwise. All right, a little bit of that. There we go. Crank is now set up. All right, pull out your receiver and usually get a little wad of uh, accessories here. Uh, the first thing is you get a little earpiece. It's kind of neat, a little bit of a uh, little bit of military history there. Those are kind of fun. You can use those. Generally, I though I, ju I just use the handset. So let's pull that all the way out. Now, on these uh, Ericsons as well, on this side you'll have a, uh, a tool. This is your little screwdriver here. Just unscrew that, and that's going to give you access to the phone if you need to take it apart. There's a couple of screws on either side. Pull your handle back off, and you can pull out the whole component if it needs to be cleaned or um, or worked on. And for this case right now, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and pull the whole thing apart for you guys just to let you know what's inside of there. And she pops loose unceremoniously. Now this is your basic phone component it's your meat and potatoes bread and butter very simple got your ringer down here on the bottom I don't know a whole lot about these field phones like I said I know just enough to get in trouble and then they'll all have this uh, battery case on them there pretty handy so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna find and use two good old-fashioned D cell batteries nothing fancy D cell batteries follow the instructions place cell Play cells as in figure. Yeah, there you go. Pretty neat. All right, we're going to put this thing back together. I'm going to show you how this all works. All right, so we're back together. A lot of this is going to be hard for you guys to see, but in here, these are where your cells go. Drop them in to your field phone, push them in forward, tight like that, and then slide in, there's a little plate with a set screw that's going to hold your batteries in place, just like that, easy to change out, and these uh, are such low voltage that uh, I've actually been able to uh, go four or five years with minimal conversation on a set of batteries. Alright, all your phones are going to have the same goodies on top of it. Uh, you're going to have two uh, knobs here that uh, you slip your bare wires of your communication wires underneath. Um, they're all going to have a Morse code button of one form or another. And they're all going to have uh, a knob that either has LB or CB. What that means is local battery or common battery. 
In our case, we're going to be using local battery, which means the battery or the power source is located within each individual phone in the system. A common battery would be the scenario where one large powerful phone would be controlling or would be giving power out to all the other smaller phones. So in our instance, we're going to be using local battery. All right, let's wire up a couple of these bad boys. The first thing we're going to be, how we're going to be wiring them is just a, a basic hardwire connection. This is what you're going to use um, if you want to run a couple of phones between some tents or campers or between a couple of houses. Remove your handsets for both of them. And uh, this can, uh, connection can be accomplished with just uh, basic speaker wire, um, household wire. Uh, any type of wire you can find will you work for this. Um, however, the higher quality wire you find and the better quality sheathing will give you a, a better sound quality and uh, you won't have as much lo uh, loss of uh, sound over long distances. Now in these models here, I've only really had them out to 200 yards. That's as far as I've tested them in my experience and the uh, communication at that distance was crystal clear. I didn't have any problems. Um, I've heard of some of these four cell units going as far as 10 miles. I don't know if any of that's true. That's just what I've heard. Um, I, can, I can say easily you can probably get good two, three miles of communication out of these depending on how many phones are set up and, um, and, the, and prevailing conditions. But for this example, I'm going to connect them about eight inches. Easy enough. Take your uh, bare wires, slip them under each one of these little knobs here. Let me get out of the way of the light for you. Slip that guy under there. And then hook this guy up over here. Now on uh, this particular speaker wire, there's a white line um, just telling me which uh, one side would be the, I guess, the ground in the speaker scenario. But all I really want to do is just match the same knob with the same wire on both phones. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and say the, uh, the Morse code button is going to be the one wire with the white, and the uh, non Morse code side, the side with our battery selection, is going to be the standard, or is going to be the other side of the wire. Sorry. Now we essentially have the phones are wired up and they're ready to use. Work just like regular handset. You got a little hang up feature there. Nothing fancy. Now what happens when phone one is cranked, phone two rings, vice versa. Phone two is cranked, phone one rings. Pretty cool, huh? All you got to do is pick each other one of them up, push to talk, release to here. That's all there is to it. So, uh, you know, you could have 10, 12 phones in this string. You ring one, they're all going to ring, and uh, they can be picked up by the, uh, by the receiver. On the other side, they know you're calling. You guys can go ahead and communicate. Now the next thing you can do with these phones is you can hook them up to an existing phone system in your house. A lot of times, there are a lot of people nowadays just use cell phones and their landline phones are disconnected, but you have perfectly good uh, phone wire running already through your house, or maybe it's a disaster scenario and the phone lines have all been taken down and perhaps you've occupied a building or a residence and you want to have communication between rooms, you can simply connect your phones together using standard phone wire. Now all phone wire is essentially the same. You'll have two to six wires in each bundle. If you look, it's going to be really hard for you guys to see, but you can look through most of the times when they're clear and uh, the wire colors you can see right there, maybe, maybe, probably not. And um, each pair starting from the center two and then the next two next to it and the next two next to that are all individual uh, phone lines. But for this case, we're only going to need uh, one pair of them, which are going to be the two middle tabs on each one of these, which in this case happen to be red and green on both phone lines. So go ahead and take your red and green, strip back your wires. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and put the red on the uh, Morse code side. Again, this doesn't matter as long as, uh, as, long as each phone matches in this system. And I'm going to shove my green wire into my LBCB knob side. And then with my uh, two wire plug, I'm going to match that. Oops, these are getting pretty frayed. I've had them plugged in a couple times. Now, these wires, just really kind of crappy phone wires, but they were what I had around to use it as an example. Hopefully, you do a little better job of stripping them back and uh, keeping them clean and don't trash them like I have seemed to be doing. All right, 
Now, these phones can simply be plugged in to a wall outlet in any home. Both of them, just like that, and the phones will function the exact same way as if these were connected with a hard wire system. And uh, for even more security in that uh, scenario, um, you could, uh, in a disaster scenario, don't go out cutting your phone line, but <laughs> you can cut the phone line out from the city into your home, and then you just have communication throughout your home. Or in my case, my phone's never been hooked up. I'm using a cell phone as my home phone, and so I can just plug these into my wall and talk between rooms. Well, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, any questions or comments, please leave them. Uh, thank you for watching, and this is uh, Classified Survival.